Let's start over because it's important the jury hears this. So in forming your opinion, did you consider Dr. Kipper's deposition testimony that while Dr. Kipper was providing emergency treatment for Mr. Depp's finger injury in Australia in the driveway of the house, Mr. Depp told him that his finger was injured when Ms. Hurd threw a vodka bottle at him? Uh, I, I don't. But I, I don't recall that from the deposition. I'd, I'd be happy to review it if you have the deposition available. Did you consider Dr. Kipper's testimony that he recalled that Mr. Depp's finger was found in the kitchen? I do recall that. So you must have also seen Dr. Kipper's deposition testimony that he wasn't the one who actually found the finger, correct? That's correct. Dr. Kipper testified that someone he thought was the chef told him he found the finger in the kitchen area, correct? Uh, I'm, I'm going to assume so without reading the deposition now. Did you review uh, any testimony from Ben King in rendering your opinions today? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Did you see any of Mr. King's testimony at this trial? I did not. Okay. So you're not aware that Mr. King testified that he is the one who found Mr. Depp's finger, are you? No. And you're not aware that Mr. King testified that he found Mr. Depp's finger in the bar area, right? Correct. And you're not aware that Mr. King testified he found Mr. Depp's finger in a piece of tissue in the bar area, either? No. Okay. And you're not aware that Mr. King testified that multiple broken liquor bottles were also found in the bar area, right? Correct. If we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1817, which is already in evidence. And it may be plush, published, please. I, I just don't have it then. That would help. Yes. <laughs> I just have a blank screen at the moment. There we go. Oh, sorry, something. Thank there you. There we go. Okay. Have you ever seen this picture before, Dr. Moore? No. So you're not aware that this is the bar area where Mr. King testified he found Mr. Depp's finger? No. Do you see that broken vodka bottle in the back corner near the bottom of the bar? Yes. Okay. Do you see the blood drops on the floor? Yes. Can we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1820, which is already in evidence? Have you seen this picture before, Dr. Moore? I have not. So you're not aware that this is also a picture from the bar area where Mr. King testified he found Mr. Depp's finger? Correct. Do you see the bloody tissue on the ground at the bottom of the bar? Yes. Do you see the blood drops around that tissue? Yes. So you didn't consider any of this evidence in rendering your opinion about how Mr. Depp injured his finger in Australia, did you? I did not. Okay. Nothing further, Your Honor. Thank right. you. Redirect. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Can you pull up um, Exhibit 1817 that was just shown to the witness, please? And can you um, blow up that what, what Ms. Vasquez referred to as a broken vodka bottle, Michelle, please? Dr. Moore, what, what, based on your review of the documents in this case, what did you understand to be the size of the bottle of vodka that Mr. Depp alleged uh, cut off his finger? The description was that it was a... Uh a handle, a half gallon bottle. And that's bigger than a, a 750 mil or fifth of liquor, correct? Yes. And what size bottle, if to the extent that's even a bottle, what size does that appear to be to you? Calls for speculation, Your Honor. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Does that appear to be a handle? It is objection calls for speculation. I'll sustain the objection. You can take that down. Um, Dr. Moore, Ms. Vasquez just, just um, asked you about Dr. Kipper's deposition testimony. Um, and she said, is that uh, where, where she claims that Mr. Depp allegedly told him that the finger was severed from a vodka bottle? Do you remember that question a few minutes ago? Objection <laughs> leading. Overruled. I do is, remember that question. Yes. Thank you. Is that consistent, that alleged account, is that consistent with the texts you, the texts you reviewed between Mr. Depp and Dr. Kipper? Uh, no. And what did those texts say? Uh, as I recall, um, Mr. Depp indicated that he had cut his finger off. 
Now, Ms. Vasquez wouldn't let you finish when you were trying to explain to the jury um, how Mr. Depp's account of injuring his finger in an accordion door would be perfectly consistent with the photographs you saw. Could you please explain that to the jury? Well, well so uh, again, uh, we tend to, to try to believe patients. We hope that they come in with an honest history initially, and, and that's a reasonable mechanism for this to have occurred. And it, again, if you picture your hand up with, a, with a, either a, a closure of a hinge or a closure of a door, the palmar surface is exposed. If it's caught in that hinge as it closes, it could be it could slightly be slightly off center it would pinch that tissue away in a similar fashion but because it's below the level of the nail bed it could create this injury with the fracture the tissue loss and preserve the nail bed can you look at page 164 of your deposition the one that miss vasquez just showed you yes objection your honor i'm going to object on hearsay grounds your honor she only oh, overruled. thank you Ms. Vasquez asked you a question and then she read your answer, trying to impeach you, but she only read half of the answer. So I, I'm gonna read the whole answer to the jury and I'm gonna ask you to tell me if I'm reading your answer right, okay? The, the question is on page 164, line four, but you can't rule it out completely, right? And you answered, I can't rule anything out completely. I can't rule out that he caught it in the door, cut it with a knife or slammed it in the car door, or again, as Dr. Gilmore said, we can't definitively say what caused this injury. And then you go on to say, this is where Ms. Vasquez cut you off and didn't let you finish. What I, the I question, don't think that's in the transcript objection. <laughs> I'll sustain that. The, the, rest of, the rest of your answer that she didn't read to you, Dr. Moore, is what I, the question I can answer is, is that the mechanism that was described by Mr. Depp and demonstrated by Mr. Depp is inconsistent with the injury pattern that's found on the images and the description. Did I read that right? Yes. And it, does that remain your opinion today? Yes. Has anything that's been presented to you on cross-examination changed any of the opinions that you hold in this case? No. I have nothing further. Thank you, Dr. Moore. Thank you. All right, Dr. Moore, you're free to go or you can stay in the courtroom. It's up to you. All right, thank you. All right, your next witness.